what's going on everybody this is giovanni from the options trading channel it's been some time since my last video and i have some information to tell you and as this video progresses i promise you it's going to go from terrible to better to good so bear with me as always i apologize for not uh, updating you guys live as the trades happen um, but let's start out by letting you know uh, there was catastrophic failure in our trades and i'm sure that a lot of people are going to be saying in the back of their um, in in the back of their minds what they've been saying all along which is i told you so it's the inevitable that this was going to happen catastrophic failure on not one, but two trades, Macy's trade and Beyond Meat. Now, uh, let me tell you what I think happened. Um, and it's all just theory and it's in my opinion, but this actually happened. I, I can show you the trades. Um, uh, by all means, I will show you the account, um, but I will tell you that we lost on Macy's well, actually, Macy's wasn't as bad as um, BYND Beyond Meat. Macy's, we sold the $20 calls that expired uh, a week or basically four days from the day that we sold them. This was naked uh, call options, by the way. Um, we sold the $20 calls uh, last Monday. Um, they expired in four days, were expiring in four days, and we sold them at $0.07. Cents and this was about the same time it was at the same time that GameStop was sort of happening and i'm sure that if you're watching my video by now you know exactly what uh has been going on in GameStop that's why i haven't really said anything about GameStop everybody and their mom has covered GameStop but <clears throat> basically the short interest in Macy's was attractive in in that group uh, that that ran up uh, GameStop. And I don't, I'm not saying this is what happened. This is all in my opinion. It was attractive because uh, it was a heavily shorted stock, and for no reason, the day after uh, that that we sold no two days excuse me two days after we sold those naked call options, it ran. It ran. Um, I believe from about fifteen dollars something like that uh, to over twenty dollars so it went over our strike strike price this was macy's and the only thing that saved our butts and i should have started this conversation uh with beyond me but the only thing that saved our butts on macy's is i was able to purchase 2500 shares um after the market closed the day before it actually ran i just had this awful feeling um, in that trade because of GameStop and the reason why GameStop was was running up and I ended up losing about fifteen uh, fifteen thousand dollars on that naked option position uh, sold them at seven ended up buying them back at like 73 cents 74 cents if I remember correctly and I ended up losing about fifteen thousand dollars Luckily, I held those shares from $16.30 around there all the way up to $21.70, almost $22. And so I made back $13,000 out of the $15,000 that I lost. And we, we came out of that whole trade about $2,000 down, uh, a little more than $2,000. So that wasn't that bad. What was bad was Beyond Meat. Beyond Meat, um, they came out with news the day after that we sold those naked uh, call options, I can't remember exactly what what it was. Um, the two tens, I believe. Uh, we can look at the screens here in a little bit. And the morning after we sold them, they came out with news that they made a deal with Pepsi about some snack, vegan snack, something of that nature, healthy snack. And it just, the, the stock price jumped up. We were down on the account last week, on the account as a whole. Uh, we were down about $30,000. We had it up to about 428. We It was bouncing around 428, 429,000. 
and we we brought it all the way back down um over, you know over thirty thousand dollars in losses but with beyond me what we did was to help salvage that trade we rolled those calls over to February 19th, three weeks out. In Beyond Me, we had a 13, we actually incurred a $13,000 loss. It was terrible, it was terrible. I had a terrible week last week. Straight and as blunt as I possibly can, that is the honest truth. That's what happens, that's the danger of trading naked call options. More than anything, call options, not put options, Put options um, is naked puts are, in my mind, in my opinion, better and not necessarily safer. But again, if, if you know what naked options are, um, the difference between calls and puts, trading those naked, and why it's infinitely more um, risky, riskier, is that is that the word to say? To trade naked calls because you literally have infinite losses, a possibility of infinite, infinite losses. Um, side note, if we hadn't had done anything um, and just stayed put in those positions, it would have worked out. Uh, both Macy's and Beyond Me ended up coming back down to earth and those options that we sold would have been um, expiring or they expired uh, worthless. But the danger in doing that and not taking action is if it just continues going way above your, your strike price, you got to pay the difference. I mean, it's a terrible thing. We did the right thing. We we covered our butts and that was that. Oil, oil has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, our investor is wanting to stay in uh, oil. It's not our play. I don't claim that it's my play. I don't claim that, oh, you know, I invested in oil. No, he from the get go was like, hey, here's this chunk of change. Um, the only condition is, um, the only limiting factor, if you will, is you have to invest in oil. We have to, and he doesn't know anything really about the stock market himself, the investor himself. Uh, he just knew that he wanted to invest in, op in, in in oil. And so, I mean, it's doing awesome, phenomenal. Um, it's doing great. The account went from literally 428, 29,000. Um, even, I mean, it dipped down below uh, $390,000, uh, 30, $40,000 in the hole. And I'm here and proud to report that we've made back most of our losses, the account is back up, uh, up above 420,000. So we've gained back um, over 20, 25,000 dollars on the account with still uh, a lot left to uh, collect on the table. The other thing is Amazon. I'm gonna show you our trade, our naked. Um, we, we have a spread, we sold uh, uh, some vertical spreads um, for Amazon. They just came out with earnings. They crushed it, they absolutely crushed earnings. The only uncertainty is that uh, Jeff Bezos is stepping down as CEO. And I don't know what that's uh, gonna do to the um, price of Amazon tomorrow morning, but it looks like we're in the clear. Let me show you all of those trades um, let's go to the uh, computer screen and I'll talk to you about those trades, even the Macy's trade, Beyond Meats trade, and Amazon trade that we have currently on. One last thing is this has been an awesome experience. Uh, without a doubt, I've had so much fun. It is very stressful and nerve wracking to say the absolute least, but I'm having a blast doing this. It is somebody else's money but I am looking after it as if it were my own. The opportunity that I was given is unbelievable and I'm just rolling with it. And we're doing really good for the exception of last week. Last week was our worst week ever, absolutely ever. We had two uh, stocks go completely against us and we were never expecting that. We were expecting maybe, you know, maybe two, three, four, a year we had two in one week it was a wild week so let's get to the uh, computer screens and let me show you a little bit about what's in our portfolio what positions we hold and then our past terrible trades Alrighty, and here is the account and i had a um, comment in my last video that the screen was really tiny and so i ballooned it up and I hope you can actually see it a lot better this time around. 
Okay, Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. Check this out. We sold two verticals, two different verticals. The 3700 calls we sold and we bought the 3710s that expire um, for this week on this Friday, 20 of them. And we also sold uh, uh, some puts, the 3050 puts, and we bought the 3040 puts, um, verticals here. And again, 20 of them. And then I also sold two 3,800 calls. These are naked now. These are naked 3,800 calls. All that expired this Friday. I sold them at 765. Currently, they closed um, yesterday, or excuse me, they closed today. Today's February 2nd, if I haven't mentioned it. Um, so I'm up a little bit on that, just $20. But tomorrow, hopefully, they should completely decay not completely there'll be a little bit left on the bone but they should be good and then one four thousand dollar call naked i sold it at 335 down a little bit again twenty dollars so that is the big amazon trade we stand to make about forty seven hundred dollars this week on this play alone let me show you all the other positions that we currently have uh, we are buyers of options of all of these uh, that I'm about to mention. Uh, just to give you an update, just a quick rundown. I'm, um, you know, this this video is already long enough. Apple bought three 120 call that expires March at 2070, down quite a bit on it, trading at 1690, down 1140. Beyond Meats, we still hold 40 of the 290 calls that expire February 19th. But or we sold them at 515. They're already trading down to 60 and uh, 60 cents, 60 and a half cents. We still have $2,400 left to squeeze out. We're up on that position, 18,000. But those are inaccurate numbers because we, as we talked about beyond me, we lost quite a bit. I'll show you exactly um, how much we lost on that one. DocuSign, uh, we're up on bot two, 3790, trading at $40. IGV bought two, 39.20 up to 450.90. And PWR, PayPal is in it on this one, bought two of the 220 that expire March. And Square bought one. I wish I would have bought a ton more, but I only bought one of the 190 calls that expire February 19th. I suspect we're going to roll over this one and can uh, add add to that that position there. Bought it at 32.05, currently trading at 38.45. Tan, I was down on this one until today. Bought at 15.20, currently trading at 16.55. Bought five of them of the $100 calls that expire February. XBI, I believe we just got into this one today. This is a spread here. Uh, bought the 135 call, sold the 150 call, uh, expires March, uh, five of them, and we are down a hundred whopping dollars. XHB down a little bit as well, uh, $50 calls, five of them, 1180, trading at 1165. XLK, I believe we also uh, just bought this one not too long ago, I believe. And that's a spread that we have going on, 114, 125 call from March and bought four of them. Actually, I do believe that we bought into these calls today. Let's move on to the account statement. I should note the account is, is at $423,768. Um, so we're just five, $6,000 off the highs of this particular account. Let's get back to the bad, terrible trades. I know I'm going through this really fast trying. Here we go. Macy's just, I mean, these are all the trades. These are uh, the trades of us buying back all of those calls that we sold at 73 cents. It was bad. It was absolutely bad. Here we go. This is um, I'll show you where I bought those shares. Yep, um, here is we bought them at um, after market on the 26th and I bought 20, uh, 2,500 uh, of 2,500 shares at right around 16.30. Sold them at 21.75. So I made $13,000 pretty much overnight. 
I mean, it, this was catastrophic failure. I definitely want to show you beyond me. Look at that down for the year, $18,000. We still have about uh, almost three grand to collect and squeeze out of the current position that we're in. Macy's see 2000, um, about $2,100. We are down. So it wasn't as bad. It wasn't as bad, nearly as bad tan, um, you know, for the year we're down 2100. So it's not terrible, not terrible by any you know stretch of the imagination. Um, when you compare it to a $420,000 account beyond me, beyond me was the absolute catastrophic failure there, but Hey, Life goes on, you you live and you learn. I'm learning a crap ton by this style of trading. It is, um, it's adding, it's adding to my skills, to my resume, so to speak, and I love what I'm doing now. Two major losses, 2,100 each. But look at that, oil this year. Oil has been amazing, phenomenal and everything else oh silver i didn't even talk to you guys about silver i did trade silver made thirty four hundred dollars on that it's all the rumor from uh the gamestop guys i bought it at 2880 just one and i sold it at 29.48 every cent guys every cent that uh silver moves is fifty dollars it, it's it's quite phenomenal. It, it takes about fifteen thousand dollars in margin to trade one of those suckers. So I was nervous about it, and this was in the middle of the night. Um, I did put in a stop loss, and it looks like it executed at four uh, forty in the morning on the first. So that was that was a wild ride. So that's gonna add. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I know this was a much longer. Uh, video than you're used to but i had a lot of updates to update you on if you like this video i would greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below don't forget to thumbs up this video see you guys next time hoping it's a green trade see you guys later